no wonder people think mast cell patients are crazy because if we start reacting to things like that. On Friday, I got to try the Luca Vorin. As always, we we're kind of nervous trialing new things, but it's more of a vitamin technically than a actual medication, so it wasn't quite as nerve-wracking as other trials. It went well. I got the whole dose, and the hope is that it will help correct some of the neurological symptoms that I've been having with weakness and tremors. I also trialed last week the lesser concentrated version of D5W, which is dextrose with sterile water, and that did not go good. We kind of weren't expecting it to go any different than the other time when we just did sterile water, but I did get more of it in this time than I did with the more concentrated version, but it's just not going to work. And that is upsetting because right now TPN is not an option until we can figure out what to make it with. It has to have some sterile water in it. Whether it be half sterile water or full sterile water, it still has to have sterile water. I've tolerated TPN in the past well until I got a little more progressed and my tube drives me crazy. Dear God, help me. I have to get a tube change like next week and I normally resort to TPN when I get an anaphylaxis cycles to where uh, immediately upon connecting to tube feeds I will go into anaphylaxis and it takes a while sometimes to get out of that cycle. So in Florida while I was still living there what they would do when this would occur I would discontinue tube feeds, I would discontinue any oral meds I was on at the time, I would discontinue food, water feeds anything through my gut and I would go on TPN and high dose steroids and IV meds and a few weeks of that some at one time it even took three months but that was when I was tolerating TPN but a few weeks of that and it's normally enough for me to resume two feeds without going into anaphylaxis from them well since becoming some more severe I've started reacting to the TPN even. Although it isn't immediate, it takes time to build up, so I get a few weeks before things get bad enough, and that few weeks is normally enough for me to resume two feeds. But this time, this is a different situation. I am not having anaphylaxis from my two feeds. It is more of an organ type issue. And because of that, it does not warrant 200 milligrams of steroid a day. But without the 200 milligrams of steroid a day, I, now I'm reacting to the TPN immediately. So we need to find a solution that doesn't entail going on 200 milligrams of steroids when the situation doesn't necessarily warrant that yet because that's not what's happening. The more I wean on the steroids, the less I tolerate pretty much anything. But yeah, I can't stay on such high dose steroids. The long-term effects of steroids are bad and my doctors do not want to go that route and I kind of agree with them because this is a different situation than in the past. Tell the people what you're doing. I'm tuning your guitar. But why? Because we're gonna attempt to learn and play the instrument. I wish it was a cello though. I like the cello. Better than guitar. You'd really rather learn cello than guitar. I like that guitar. thing looks so small with you. It does. <laughs> Just feels small. That guitar was originally purchased for me. It was either for Christmas or my birthday. I think Christmas, but I was in the second grade. It's a baby tailor and it's really small. We've attempted to sell it probably. How many times have we tried to sell that sucker? This guitar? Mm -hmm. I, I look kind of rough today. Yeah, I have no clue. Um, it's been like four times. It's funny but because it never it, sells. This Every time I've tried to sell it, I end up taking it back. 
from where or taking the listing offline because I just decide what if I ever want to try to learn guitar. Well, thanks for the D string. That's the only chord I know. That and C. But I, anyways, I started guitar lessons in the second grade after I got this baby Taylor guitar. But the teacher left to move to the, a different city. And so then once my teacher left, I just never picked it back up again. Actually, I did pick it back up again because I tried to take a guitar class mm. once for school, for high school, as a credit. And then I just, I did the first term and dropped that too. So guitar, as you can see, probably ain't my thing, but I'm going to... One day I'm gonna learn. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. You think it's tuned? I think so. Download the guitar tuna. Like not even tuner, but tuna, like the fish. I'm rude off looking. But I have an MRI of my brain tomorrow. The one that I was supposed to get months ago to check for that pituitary tumor to see if it's grown. And Sylvina's watching some anime what do you hate <laughs> to do the mri i either have to be disconnected from the benadryl pump for the entire mri process or i have to have an extension that is long enough to keep the benadryl pump outside of the door because the pump is not mri compatible i'm gonna have my mom help me put on the 25 foot extension that'll hopefully be long enough to get out the door tomorrow morning. I change the benadryl bags every 24 hours so that's why we have to put on the extension tonight rather than waiting in the morning because I'm already on a schedule of changing my bag out every evening. But leave it to Cheyenne to be able to smell this thing. I don't even smell it though. I got this TV for Christmas and that was obviously like three months ago. We put it in my room, hung it on the wall and mounted it like usual. And then, like, 20 minutes later, I felt like I was going to go into a reaction. And at that time, it had just been a box, so I could smell the new plastic, and I thought maybe that was it. So we took it down. We let it air out for a while, and we play, plugged it up in a different room and played it. And then we put it in there again. Then we had it in there overnight. And then that next day, I woke up all swelled up. So then they took it out again. And then we just put it up yesterday and I woke up bad this morning. Even though I lasted a bit longer without feeling like I was gonna go into a reaction, but now I woke up bad this morning. I improved a little bit during the day and now that I'm back in my room, I'm obviously so I know that sounds absolutely crazy to be allergic to a TV. Yeah, who else is allergic to TVs? Anybody? Not me. <laughs> it is way too early. And that MRI is all done. It's loud. And I don't even know when we'll know anything about the results. She did extra. Before, the doctor only ordered at the pituitary gland, so yeah, she says you just hone in on there and do special thin slices, but because everything I'm telling her, she did a whole brain and still the small slices of the pituitary. Yeah, because the endocrinologist was the one who originally ordered the MRI, but it was just for the pituitary micro, I don't know what. But then there's been some other things since then, because that was a few months ago, but it ended up getting canceled because that particular facility was uncomfortable with my line. That's the temperature gauge. It's, it's too cold. <laughs> um, that particular facility was uncomfortable with my line. But after it was canceled and then I ended up inpatient, then the hospital did an MRI and they figured out what exactly works with the extension to get it out the door. So then they were fine with it. So now that's why we're just now scheduling it. But the cerebral folate deficiency that I've talked about in my other vlogs can cause some brain MRI changes too. Because it can cause the brain to atrophy. So I guess they're looking at all the whole brain now to see that rather than just the pituitary. I'm glad it's over. That's all I can say. I'm gonna go home and get some coffee. And I wanna take a nap.
to do IV steroid in the car. But I really don't like doing IV meds in the car. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. A lot of people do it, but I don't know. I just feel like you can see the little dust floating around in the car and it just kind of freaks me out. It's not like a... She I mean, she's gloves and we're sterile and alcohol. We went all the way to Minnesota how many times? And I'm injecting bags and everything. I know. I, that said, I didn't like it then either. But, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. But. Do you want me to pull over and so we can flush? No, we can flush when we get home. It's just a couple more minutes. Well, I just got back from the MRI and showered and changed and everything. I'm doing a thousand times better today now that I didn't sleep in the same room as that stupid TV. I really like to know what it is about the TV. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. No wonder people think my cell patients are crazy because we start reacting to things like that. So the rest of the day, I'm just gonna chill and try to get some financial aid stuff taken care of for my college courses online. And that's about it. I hope everyone has a wonderful week and thank you for watching.